Okay, we are here a little bit early yeah. <laughs> for the opening of the new facility at Good Luck Macbeth. Correct. So um, tell us what the, what the play is going to be, the first play in this new. Well, I'm really excited. We're doing the Royale, and um, this is a play that was written by Marco Ramirez. He's probably got some fans out there. I believe he was the writer of... Um, Orange is the New Black, mm -hmm. fact check that for me, um, and a I couple believe that's of right. others. Um, but he, his writing in this was just phenomenal. Um, I was fortunate enough to be asked to direct the first show here, opening the new space on Taylor, which is just phenomenal. Um, I can't wait till you guys get to see it. But I didn't really have time. And once I read the script, I had to find time because it was that good. Um, he utilizes sound as a character in the play. He utilizes, in my mind, lights as a character in the play. And he truly writes an ensemble piece that uh, takes you back to the first heavyweight champion who happened to be the first black heavyweight champion of the world. And he, um, this fight leads up right before the big fight that everyone kind of knows about took place right here in Reno. Um, they called it the Big White Hope, I believe they made a movie out of. And uh, James Earl Jones was a star of that. Well, this play is not that, but it's kind of the fictional story leading up to that point. Uh, Marco Ramirez took some liberty and changed the names, so it's not the actual Jack Johnson fighting. It's uh, J. J. Jackson um, is the lead character, and he'll be fighting, um, and it kind of takes you into the minds of the fighter rather than the fight of the fighter. It's not like Rocky. You don't see the big blows being taken. You, mm -hmm. you, you see the blows being taken in the mind. So I'm excited to bring it to uh, everyone, and the cast that I get to work with, it's, they're phenomenal. So. Yeah, we're here with Amelia. And, uh, and what character do you play? I play Nina. Um, I play the main character, Jay Jackson's older sister, mm -hmm. um, and kind of the voice of reason within him. So what, how did you get involved in this? Um, I was asked to be part of the process um, a little earlier, and then as soon as I read the play, there was no way I could say no. Um, it's just, it's super relevant to what we're going through in the world right now, and it's, it's a story that has to be told, and I'm really excited to get to tell it. Okay, so in what way is it relevant to this? Um, there is just the inner turmoil of Jay himself being a black man and a boxer and wanting to make strides and push forward um, and make a change in the world in the only way he knows how. Um, and people are not necessarily willing to have that conversation even in the show. They don't want to believe that it, it is a topic that needs to be mentioned. They don't, like, there is the part of the story that certain people won't even recognize the fact that he wins if he happens to beat a white boxer because just because of who he is. And people just don't even want to have that conversation. And I think that's similar to what we're going through today. It really is yeah. eerily similar. Yes. <laughs> you think we've gone a little further than we have. Yes, exactly. Everybody thinks it's fine and, and it doesn't, it, these issues don't exist anymore and they're just so prevalent in our society today, unfortunately. Well, I can't wait to see you in the play next week. Yes, I'm very excited. Thanks. Okay, so we're here with Julius. And what character do you play? I play the, the character of Fish. Uh, he's the amateur boxer who starts off the show um, in his first fight against the champ and then eventually joins on and becomes on their team. Okay. I like to think my character serves as a voice of reason in, throughout the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, I, I represent sort of the positive, I'm, I feel like I'm more of the positive light and all the turmoil and all the darkness as far as like racism and um, all the troubles that, are, that Jay's going through. So I feel like I serve as a kind of like a light and like the guy, the guy that kind of brightens up the mood a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. How has this touched you personally? personally. Mm. It's definitely relevant. Uh, it's sad to say that even in 2018, we're still going through race issues. And um, 
I believe having this kind of story being told in a city like Reno, which is you know very northern and very conservative, I believe it's a it's a good opportunity for us to be able to bring awareness to those that uh, don't really understand or don't know the full extent of racism and that it is alive and present today. Um, so yeah. Okay, we're here with Eric. Yes. And uh, who do you play? I play Winton. I'm uh, Jay's trainer, um, kind of like a father figure, mm -hmm. so and his confidant, and uh, we travel around together and, and we, we do fights together. So, so what attracted you to this role? Um, John had actually asked me about the role, and uh, he sent me the script, and I read the script, and I was I was kind of blown away, especially when I realized how this moved forward. I mean, how how the play itself moved. And uh, I was like, I, I got to be a part of this. So I was looking forward to it. Now, have you learned anything on a personal level going through the rehearsals? Um, I've learned that it's like everyone else says, that, that racism is still out there. It, it may not be, by a lot of people, so blatant. But there are little nuances that you can see, you know, for me personally, that I see that happens practically every day of my life. So. It's not really directed at me mm -hmm. sometimes, but uh, I, you, you pick up on it, so. Okay, now we're here with Keith, and you play? I play Max. Um, Max is, uh, you know, in a very theatrical way, he kind of plays the fight promoter, but at times he serves as a referee, he serves as the ring announcer, um, reporters in the press conference. Um, so kind of all the voices outside of Jay and his trainer and his sparring partner, and his sister. So, so what uh, got you attracted to being in this play? Um, it's, it's a fascinating script. Um, the great thing about my character is that he sees himself as very much, he sees himself as very much on Jay's side and almost as a, you know, a civil rights crusader for equality. Um, but at the same time, he's completely blinded to his own shortcomings and uh, the shortcomings that are almost inevitable because of when and where he's raised. And so he's got his own racism that he's a part of the larger system and doesn't really know it. Um, so there's a lot of interesting complexity there. Um, and it's such a cool story, you know, I've grown up in Reno and uh, um, a lot of people don't know that this, I mean, we're doing a fictionalized version, of course, but that that this event, this historic event, happened here in our town. So, so what have you learned on a personal level going through the rehearsals? Um, the rehearsals, you know, I've learned a little bit about the history, done a little bit of reading and stuff, but um, more than anything, interacting with the other actors and, um, and being the only white actor in the show and dealing with the material and sort of um, discussing our different perspectives on the material and hearing how the other the other actors react to certain scenes and, and being a part of their reactions to certain scenes and really learning um, things that I never could have learned no matter how much I studied or however much uh, time I spent with the text, I never would have seen it from their points of view. Uh, being in the room with them night after night and hearing how they experience it differently from me has been amazing. It's been eye-opening. It's changed me. Well. But first, boy, I think you and I need to have a talk. About what? After the showground just now, I see a man pull you aside. I see an envelope change hands. And you think what? Don't get smart with me, boy. I was born smart. And now the fight you came for. The fight you paid your hard earned green for. In this corner, weighing at 200 pounds, standing six feet even, with the wingspan of a mighty black albatross, please welcome to his first ever professional fight, your challenger. Champion Jay the 
Jesus.